Here are the David Grayson rules for successful relationships. Place the needs of your partner ahead of your own. If he, she does the same for you, you both are golden. Establish a strong trust and never betray it. This includes cheating. Never bring pornography into your relationship unless your partner is into the same stuff. Pornography, IMHO, has ruined far more relationships that people realize. Personally, I don't look at it for this very reason. Years ago, when I first got married, my wife found my penthouse magazine. The look of hurt and betrayal on her face made an indelible impression that I still remember to this day. I got rid of that magazine and never did that again. Pornography is corrosive and toxic to a healthy relationship. In effect, you are telling your partner that he, she is not good enough and that you need the porno to get your satisfaction. Every time you make a decision, include your partner. Discuss your decisions with your partner ahead of time, always. As a man, I sleep well at night knowing that I always considered my wife. However, I did not always defer to her desires. That was because there were many times when I could clearly see that what she wanted was not going to work. But I still gave her wishes the proper respect. And when I made a family decision that she didn't like, I explained my reasons in the nicest possible way. Then I dug in my heels. There were just as many other times when I could see that I was the one making the wrong choice and she had the moral high ground. I had to take the course of humility and go with her decision. If you can't do that, be prepared for tribulation. Always be very mindful of the struggles of your partner, even if those struggles are invisible to outsiders. Always support your partner through his, her struggles. Be the rock your partner needs to survive. Learn your partner's hot buttons and stay the fuck off of them. Only a complete fucking dirtbag mother of all narcissists does a tap dance on them. It is not important how I know this. Never ever disparage your partner and this is especially true in front of outsiders. Always maintain a united front. If you cannot do that, don't get into the relationship. If you disagree on any issue, ask yourself what is more important. Is winning your stupid, petty little argument more important than maintaining your relationship with someone who has agreed to completely change his, her life to accommodate you? To belittle your partner is tantamount to abuse and this includes gaslighting. If you don't know what, gaslighting, means, Google it. To belittle your partner in front of a crowd should, IMHO, carry the damn death penalty and you're a dirtbag for committing such a crime. There is nothing in the world that can cause you to lose the respect of all your friends and family faster than if you dress your partner down in public. Don't ever do that under any circumstances. Your outside friends will not think that you are being cool or cute. They will see right through your bullshit and take sides with the partner that you are dressing down. Along these same lines, when outsiders ask about your partner, you must always speak of your partner in positive terms. Never let others see what is really going on behind closed doors. In relation to Rule 4, don't ever complain to your friends about your partner. If you have to air your complaints, do it anonymously on Quora. The key word is, anonymous. Always be reasonable. What is the definition of being reasonable? The David Grayson Dictionary states that to be reasonable is to maintain a willingness to yield. Think about that. If you are willing to yield, you are deferring back to Rule 1. Putting your partner's needs ahead of your own. Always nurture, caress, cuddle and support your partner in every way. If you are from a family that never gave hugs, then get used to giving hugs. Give them freely. Never be jealous of your partner. If you have a jealous nature, do whatever you have to do to control it. This means getting therapy if needed. Trust your partner and when you see your partner talking to someone that you would otherwise feel could threaten your relationship, put a goddamn muzzle in your mouth and keep it shut. Trust your partner up until you actually catch your partner in the act. Then, and only then, choose what you will do. Listen to your partner. I don't mean to patronize your partner by pretending to listen. I mean really listen. Your partner is your world. If your partner bails out of the relationship, your world is going to turn upside down and it's not going to be pleasant. It's going to hurt a lot. It is not important how I know that either. Thus, if your partner does indeed bail out, 
You want to sleep at night guilt-free knowing that you honestly did your best. Because if you did not do your best, your hurt is going to be worse by tenfold. Be prepared for your partner to get a brain tumor, cancer, Alzheimer's, or any other physical malady. Think about how you may have to someday change your partner's diaper. There is nothing worse than one partner getting deathly sick and the other partner saying something really crass such as, I just can't handle this abuse. I'm outta here. That's total bullshit. By the same token, your partner may have severe bipolar disorder, ADHD, OCD or any number of other emotional disabilities. These only mean that that person really needs you and you will need to be very strong. I can think of a lot of rules but I think you're getting the idea. I could go on all night. But, I will finish with this final rule. Never, ever marry a narcissist.